In engineering, we have to make sure that the products that we make meet our customers' expectations in every way. And we need to make sure that the technology is as advanced as we can, ensure that it's the lightest weight, highest reliability, obviously meeting the product cost goals for, that our customers expect. And we also want to make sure that we develop it in a timely manner and that we address their concerns as we move along. Jim Elder is the program chief engineer on the PW 1500 uh, gear turbofan engine, uh, which is which is to power the Bombardier C Series aircraft. As chief engineer, Jim brings a keen intellect and strong analytical thinking skills, which provides guidance to the team to ensure we're providing robust, solid solutions that's going to meet our customer commitments. Jim brings a wealth of experience. Jim, Jim uh, has been through the battle before, so he knows the process. And again, he provides pragmatism, key decision making to bring home the requirements and the execution on the certification test program. To certify the C-Series, the testing we have to do uh, is in the order of over 570 individual tests. It'll be rolled into approximately 70, 72 individual test reports, some as many as a thousand or a couple of thousand pages in depth. And uh, that is to certify the 45 components of that control system. The team I've worked with on this program is just outstanding. They're absolutely so talented and dedicated and perseverance to doing every job just right. Everything from the design or analysis or projects, and then there's many, many companies outside right now having certified the 1524G. That's certainly one of the highlights of my career, having worked at uh, United Technologies and being able to interact with so many different individuals and be able to provide the type of interaction and advice at times that they need and information they need in order to progress their designs or development, I think is one of my greatest achievements. Is somebody that you definitely want to approach and that's who Jim is. He's very helpful. He wants to definitely wants to teach you and if you go to him with a problem he's not going to only solve it for you but he'll take you through his method and you learn a lot from his knowledge and, and he takes you through his thought process which is important as somebody like myself who's just starting off and learning. Types of reasons that I enjoy coming to work of course is seeing products that I help develop out in the field and, and uh, satisfying the customers but I of course always enjoy working with the people. I mean, the people are a big, big part of any company. And I love working with the talented people, the young engineers we have, mentoring them, seeing them grow, seeing the light bulb click when you're telling them something that suddenly they understand and it now makes a lot more sense to what they're doing, uh, how it fits into the bigger picture. That sort of, uh, you can't replace that anywhere. That is a, of tremendous value to me. That's one of the major reasons I do like to come into work. I consider him a mentor, definitely, um, and he's helped mold me into a leader, but he does his mentoring by listening to you and asking for your solutions as well as providing the advice. Very honored and humbled to be receiving this award. The people that I've worked with have uh, obviously contributed to the success of the program and without their contributions I would not be able to have been nearly as, uh, as fortunate as I am right now. The aerospace industry is a fantastic industry. It grows every year and it will continue to grow. The types of technologies that are being fielded by the airframers, by the engine manufacturers and in many ways by the components and systems type groups are far more advanced than when I started uh, 30 odd years ago. The, the types of products in the field, the testing we do, the reliability is so much better, the, uh, the designs are so much more exact, and they will continue to get better and better. I don't see the aerospace industry slowing down at all. I see nothing but future advancements. Mm -hmm.